This is a quick tutorial on how to submit a uh, assistance request using one of two methods. Uh, there is the mobile app, which you can download from Android or iOS, and that is uh, the icon that you see here. We launch the PubSafe mobile app. You'll notice that when it comes up, you get a little tutorial. You can hide this in the future. You get to see all of your settings, your security options. Uh, one important thing to notice here is the event. Uh, if you are dealing with Hurricane Fiona, then you want to make sure that you select the event, and I'll show you how to do that. You can see the event is listed in the top left-hand corner in the green bar. You can click on that bar, and that will change to Hurricane Fiona. And what that does is it associates the information that you post with a particular event. You can click the map icon in the top right-hand corner to return to the main screen. And to request assistance, uh, in the lower menu bar is routine assistance. Click on the help hand, and then you can scroll through the different types of top-level categories. And then you can select up to three choices from the lower categories. And then you click on next. You can take pictures of the situation at hand if it's a flood or if you have an, you know, some animals that need to be transported, something like that. Or you can skip that media. You can put in a comment. And then you can indicate how long this request is going to be valid. Or how long a particular post is going to be valid. So if this was a sit rep and you have a washed out road, you would probably want to select 30, 60, or 90 days because it's going to take a long time to get that repaired. If you need short-term assistance, then you may post it for 24, 72 hours, something of that nature. And when you hit continue, that is going to share it using your phone's location. And that's important. This is your phone's location. So if you're in the field, you want to use your phone to do sit reps and help requests. So we'll cancel out of that and go back to the main map. If you have a priority help request, then you would select the red H in the top right-hand corner of the map. And this is what you'll see. Uh, you should always call 911 or emergency services in your area if you have a true life and death emergency. Uh, make that call first and then publish here and then hope that uh, there's members in the area that will be able to see that and maybe come to your aid. Again, we can click on the map, return to the home screen. That process is essentially the same for sit reps, location updates, and my status information, which are all found in the lower menu bar. If you click on the lower right map icon, you'll see that you have quick post options and you can also post other information here or get to the assistance options here as well. The other way of requesting help is to go to the website pubsafe.net and you'll see the first menu item is request assistance. When you click on that, this is the page that you come to. Uh, we have options here for uh, using the QR code to go straight to the appropriate store, either Android or iOS. I will say that iOS is pending a major update and may not have all the features that we're discussing, discussing today, but you can post sit reps and help requests from iOS. So when you come in here and you want to request help and you are not physically there, then this is the method that you would use. So if you take a phone call from somebody, you get an email or a social media post and somebody says, hey, I need some help, then you would come here and use the web form. Both the mobile app and the web form post information to the PubSafe map. In order to get to the PubSafe map, you have to have the PubSafe uh, mobile app to get into the web portal. You use the same credentials that you use in the mobile app to actually log into the web portal. And then you come to the home menu and then you can see information that's being posted to the map. Now what you see on the left hand side is going to differ depending on um, various things. And then you can simply zoom in on the map and click on an icon. You can click on the icon and see the information in the information window. The other thing is that you can come over here and there's a variety of different map icons. The filter one is a big one. So you can start to reduce information on the map to what's important to you. But play with the icons and you will see lots of information. So back to the help request. Again, these options differ depending on what you select. Brief description. If you have a preferred organization, this would be if you want a particular NGO that is registered with PubSafe to respond, then you would select uh, you know, that NGO from the list. Otherwise, leave it blank and everybody will get to see it. You want to come in here and now you want to select the 
you want to select the uh, event, Hurricane Fiona, and then you want to work through this other information here. We need to know who reported it and whether or not you're a PubSafe member or a non-member. So it help for you or somebody else? And are you at that location? This really helps us determine the accuracy of the information. We will know that you are not standing on the ground when you are making this report. If you come down here and you need to bring in coordinates from Google Maps, you go to Google Maps, you get the GPS coordinates, you come back in here, click on this option here, and then simply copy and paste and the map will adjust. You can also zoom the map to the appropriate location and click on the map using this option. What type of location are we talking about here? Typically it's going to be outdoors. You might have some location details. If there's a gate code, you can enter that information here. And then you want to come down here and put some details. This may be a WhatsApp group for communication or other information. Again, the expiration time period in order to keep the information on the map fresh. Put an expiration time period on it. If you want to add images, which you can upload from your computer, you can do that. And then you have to agree to the terms before you can submit. And once you do that, then it ends up over here on the map. So the more information, especially sit reps that can be posted to the map, the more accurate and real-time information is going to be available to decision makers as they work to get help to the field. If you have any questions, contact us directly at pubsafe.net or uh, do a search for the PubSafe group on WhatsApp. Thank you.